we roll. Explicit you content. content. Come find me. I'll hit you with a potion, man. All we do is grind. It's your morning cup of tea. Oh, don't tell me what. Tell me who. And yep. brain jerk fellas, pillars of the community. I'm honored to be here. Yep. But, uh... They're the Wu-Tang Clan as shit gets deep. <laughs> Their actual superpower is something called the synchronicity wave. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I'm not the moral police. Right. Do your thing. Yeah. Just uh, We're going to be doing this over here, and we're going to be learning and educating so we can pass it on down the line. And use your ability to feel the turn of the universe, to really understand and empathize with your fellow man to improve their day just a little bit. Close the Brenger era. Welcome to the Brenger era. Welcome. Oh, I said, what's up, jerk offs? Good morning. Good morning. And we have a brain dead tear up. No, I'm trying. The up. Are you alive? Yeah, okay. I'm. Uh, holy <laughs> shit. What up, Robert? What up? I Chris? fucking. Good morning. Let me turn my light on. I, I can hear you still, though. Weird Wednesday has sent me in a fucking loop. This is this word is hard to say, and it's. Not hard to say at the same time. I feel so stupid, dude. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, you should be used to that. No, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to say the little word, but the real, I don't know. I'll tell you later. Yeah. Later. Fuck. Fuck, man. How was your, uh, how was your day yesterday? How are uh, you? Uh, dude, it was actually great. I got a, uh, on the way out, uh, one of my co-workers bought me a joint, uh, this thing right here. Hope you had a good birthday, T, says Kristen. I did. I had a great birthday. I worked all day, uh, just having a good time, worked with my people and shit, but, uh, I got one of these to go home with. It's a blunt and it has a glass, uh, tip on it. It's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The first couple hits... Uh, you couldn't really get it, but once it like really got like a little bit down, we had to take like, I don't know, a little bit off, like I'd say fucking 15% to smoke it and not get good hits. And then it was smoking really good. And then I was sitting here high as fuck for hours. So, I mean, it was decent. It was decent. Um, I just, Ooh, that looks fancy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's it's, up, KCT? <laughs> I we uh last night I went with Ryan and Kayla and uh Shane and Kevin. Where? And and Jess. And my we wife? Went, no, not your wife, Jess. Oh, Aunt Jess? Yeah. Uh and Josh Geisberg was there also. We went to uh what was that restaurant called? Black Rock or something. Black Rock. Oh, they, oh, they, they, they bring the meat to your table and then they bring you, they cut it off the meat that you want. I don't remember what it was called, but uh, we went there. I don't. I, I realize I'm not a huge meat guy. I always say that, but every time I go to a meat place like that, it hits me and I'm like, uh, I'd rather have the sides. I like the place. I'm grateful to have that had that experience because it was really cool and really fun. But I I don't know if I was it just uh, the meat that they were like. Well, they had like a salad bar of sorts, which was fantastic. A plus. Really? Their lobster lobster bisque was fire. Lobster. It's just just, uh, when I eat like say lamb chops or steak, I get feel I start feeling weird. I start feeling a little tingly on the inside. You so did that. I'm, I'm starting to think I'm allergic to to meat or something that they cook the meat with. What's up, squirrels? Girl, go ahead and the bombs. I I feel weird when I eat red meat, like for real. Tingly. That's because I don't eat it a lot. But I get, it's when I, the steak. After I when I, once I ate so much 
Like, I didn't even eat a lot, and I was already starting to feel weird. And I even looked over. I was like, dude, I feel weird. Meat makes me feel weird. And I love the lamb chops. But there was a point when I put a piece of meat in my mouth, and I said, if I don't take this meat out of my mouth right now, I'm going to throw up. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a carnivore like that where I could just, I'm, I don't want a whole entire meal to be just meat, if, if that's me, the... Me neither. I'd rather most of it be vegetables or side salad or whatever it is, and then I'd like a small portion of meat. Dude, if you, if you really like ask me... The portion of meat they give you at the at Fuji, at the hibachi, you know, when you get like filet mignon, and that that's the small portion I'm talking about. What up, Sean Woolley? Good morning, sir. What up, Mr. Woolley? See you, Mr. What, what up, up, Mr. Dev, Dev Rucker? Today we got a, 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 we're filming Taste Of at 2 p.m. at Gray Herring. They just recently op- opened up, and we're going to go see what the, the raves about. We're going to create some raves. We're going to go there and rave? Hell yeah, dude. That's the biscuit is delicious. You're right. Dude. Is that Bahama John? Bahama John. John. What up, bro? What is up, dude? I haven't seen you in a fortnight. Fortnite's three nights. I took the trash out a fortnight ago. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but I know losing 170 pounds is what I accomplished. Nice. Yep. Uh, um, yeah, let's get this boat and make a show. So apparently, we're going to have some. It's going to be awesome. It's we're getting on a boat? I'm not going to verify or deny. Can I not get on the boat? I don't. I get the woozies. No, not today you don't. I get the woozies. Yeah, it's okay. You'll just throw up. Throw up on the side. Over. I the don't. Side. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I was just, you know. But I'm not a. He was moving the gross point. What's that? It's a city. How far away isn't it? it I don't is know. It, is it gross? Is it, is it closer to us? It does take work, squirrels. Good morning, mom. Squirrels. I, uh, uh, she says it was not work at all. Um, listen. I want to say that there was a shit ton. I love the love that I was getting for my birthday. There was a shit ton of comments and. I know and, my fucking new my feed was blowed up, dude. Yeah. I got a hundred comments for you on yeah. my <laughs> fuck, man. So that means I missed some comments. So I, if yeah. you posted on my wall, I I I don't know if I got them all, but I literally try to reply to every single person that does it. So if I didn't, I'm very sorry. If I fucking see it, I'll I'll say thank you four days later. My mom says uh, take some dramedy. For, for the seasickness. What up, Dev Kennedy? Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Hope you're Love doing you too, well. Love you too, brother. Dev says, uh, Dev Rucker says, Josh and I made Ryan a little woozy in Miami. Yep. Yep. So. Oh, if you guys are the captain, I ain't getting on the fucking boat, period. Oh, no, dude. No. Dev was nice. You know, Dev, real quick, he took a li- for a little spin inside the harbor. Everything was good. And then. I was egging him on to go out deeper. Go out, go on, get it, go in the ocean park, go in the ocean park. And Dev finally, once he got a hang of it, he's like, Mah! I look back. Ryan hadn't said a word for fucking at least 10, 15 minutes, right? Me and Dev are, ah, ha, ha, yeah. And I look back, I go, I haven't heard much from dad today. And he goes, you can just go ahead and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a blue whale under us, bro. We're <laughs> fucked. Fuck up and leave me alone. <laughs> yep. Dude, the open ocean's scary. It's a scary place. Good morning, Keith. Good morning. The open ocean, man. That's things that are... Good morning, uh, Rachel. Good morning, Pablo. It'll help you for sure. Uh, what up, Night Train? Good morning, sir. Here's some uh, here's some of the specialties. Of what? Um, looking for Dev Kennedy says, hearing Ryan tell that story is priceless. Uh, he was not happy with us at all. He really was not happy. 
because he had just got done saying, "No, we ain't going out here in the in the ocean." And and I and I got Dev to go out just to, for a second, and then he listened at first, and he turned around and he came back in, and we we piddled around, and then he was like, "Let's get it." My question, <laughs> my full for my full force question, is Ryan, why the fuck? Do you? Have, we call you dad, and we are we are all fucking children that don't listen to dad. We are, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do you get the worst kids if if we call you dad? You know, like we're so immature. We're like, you know that thing that we're not supposed to do. We're we call gonna do him dad it, and we treat him like our dad. <laughs> yeah, and he's just sitting there like. You kids are fucking assholes, dude. We'll, we'll listen to him. We'll listen to him like ninety percent of the time. But when it's time to cause mischief, mischief, it's time to cause mischief. Yeah, I mean, he likes his own mischief, but his friends do a lot more. And I wonder why the fuck are you friends with us? Well, before you're just like sitting here, like, dude, these morning, guys are Amy. fucking idiots, bro. Good to see you. <laughs> you know, hey, man, you always gonna have a out. More, good morning, fire blanket. Uh, dude, you know what? I was born. Damn. That, that was, uh... Some people are like that. Uh, here's a... It, my, my sister knows her dad, and then he's a douchebag, so... He, he left. So, at least... At least you didn't have to know somebody and lose him, you know? And it, we did, she didn't even lose him. He left. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> It's it's that's a touchy situation. Yeah, he's um, a piece of shit. I'll just say that. Uh, I don't care I, who knows it. I'm I'm a real nice guy, but fuck that guy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> fuck that, fuck that guy. Seriously, if my friend don't like you, then I don't fuck like you, you. Fuck you, Scott Hendel. I'll call yeah. you out my name. <laughs> that's fucking Scott, dude. Stupid last name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, uh. I just, I, you know what, I was thinking about it in my head, like, Ryan probably just loves watching, like, he's like, dude, look at these fucking idiots, you know what I'm saying, he's probably, he probably likes observing it, but doesn't like when he's in it. A hundred percent. I'll let you guys go out and play fuck fuck, just, yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep, but when he's on the boat and we're playing fuck fuck, he's like, I hate these fucking guys, Cause dude. Because he's, he's got yeah. to be there. Yeah. And it's because now, and that's, it's that's not you know, that's the it. one that's the one that taught us to be mischievous, okay? Yeah, but we take it not forty year old mischief. It's thirty, you know, we're young. You're your old you're his oldest son. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm the little stupid giant lug. Like, what's up, Josh? What are we doing today, dude? <laughs> you know? Well, even like when I went back home to to like Thomas and, and those guys. And I was like, dude, when's the last time you did some some good fun shit around here? And he's like, huh? It's been a while. <laughs> I said, then what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, dude. Why don't we do some fun shit? First bro? time I first day I ever met you, we had the fire department chasing us and now you're part of them. Yeah, that's why you're my friend, dude. We <laughs> fucking <laughs> Hey, there is a fire truck for sale that I know about. Three grand can get I, you a fire truck. I know somebody that I want wants Ranger to have a fire truck. I know somebody that wants one. I think if I I'd had an extra to... three grand that was just sitting there, I would one thousand percent buy it. Don't tell my brother. Just to have it. Don't tell my brother. He might think something of it. A fire I truck in my yard. I will, I will tell your brother, and then I'll say, "Hey, can we use this from time to time for?" <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just have me in just in a speedo on top with the sirens blaring. We kill that one, Fago. Oh, stop, dude! Get to the gathering and fill um, the Fago and. So, when do you get paid, Josh? Do you want to start putting money together or what? <laughs> <laughs> so now, guys, we need everybody to subscribe and hurry up and donate money. To this uh, fire truck cause and get out of jail uh, free card. What, oh. Only fans, uh, go fund me to get us this fire truck. And <laughs> what up, Patrick Mendez? Do Hi. they even do they even want to use it for good? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go put out uh, lots of fires. They just won't have flame. 
Call me the fireman. That's Dude. my name. Dude. How, how awesome. <laughs> Making that, my that rounds was, all over town, putting this. out old flames. If, if we were able to buy that fire truck, it's a tax write-off. I don't want to talk about it, dude. It's for a real. Tax write off because now we use it in videos. Now we use it at events. Now we put it in, dude. I'll show up to business meetings in that boy. Ha ha. <laughs> weep weep. <laughs> the motherfucker's like, "What are these guys doing?" And then we get out. Look at me. So Ryan looks normal when he gets out of a car. And then he's got his two minions. He's like, this is my business partner, and this is my other partner. You know, we work with T-Rex. And he's, we're just... He's the entertainment. Yep. My business partner. <laughs> he's the business partner. He looks kind of fucked up, but he's actually a good guy. Okay. And then this other guy looks really fucked up, but he's funny. You know? But... A hundred percent. <laughs> if that was the case, if we could change that, I would have that one where you could change it. Dude, I would, you would just have a voice recording of me going, wee woo. Welcome. Wee woo. The brain jerk. Wee hey, woo. Brain, brain jerk. Brain jerk coming through. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. <laughs> brain jerk. Wee woo. All right, let's um, sponsor spot and then we'll get into the topic. Okay. What's Weird Wednesday about, Tyler? No, get into Weird Wednesday. Tell me what you got to say about Weird, weird Wednesday. Wednesday. What's the oh, the topic is Raelianism. Oh, realism? No. No, realism. Because you sent me last night realism. Is that realism? It's R-A-E-L. I'm having struggles with that word. But what the, uh, like, another name for it is Raelianism. Google and say, how do you say this word? I did, and they, they, I, it, I, they didn't have the parentheses where you could sound it out. They only had voice recordings, and you were playing the intro. Dude, that's the horn. Boo, bitch, get out the way. While the ha, ha. <laughs> Ooh, out the way. That would be great. That would be fantastic. Dude, stop oh, making geez. ideas. Buy Village Pizza Company. That's what my, Using my whole life ingredients and homemade dough, their pizza is prepared with care. Their goal is to properly serve their community a simple yet delicious pizza with a smile. Go visit villagepizzamaybe.com for more information. KMK Creation specializes in personalized tumblers, rolling trays, vinyl t-shirts, and sweatshirts. Message KMK Creations on Facebook and let's make something for you. Welcome to the friendliest place in town. Little Brown Jug was established in 1977, offering great food and excellent service and continue to carry on this proud tradition to this day. day, day, day. To this day. Come and see why they call them the friendliest place in town. Visit littlebrownjugmaybe.com for more information. We'll see you there. Taste Of is a show that features restaurants for more than just their food, but also their history and culture. Go visit the Taste Of group on Facebook for more. Nerdy Designs, Toledo, Ohio's premier design studio. They've been crafting beautiful websites, launching stunning brands, and making clients happy since 2007 with their prestigious craftsmanship, remarkable client care, and passion for design. To find out more, just go to nerdydesigns.com, the official. The official graphic designer for Brain Jerk Entertainment. Tyler Rupp. The old hag. What up, Robert? I'm almost 30 now, night train. I know what it's like. Wow, dude. You don't know nothing. You're old. Dude. Yep. You're yesterday, old, for the first old. time, yesterday, for the first time, I looked in the mirror and I was like, I look a year older because now I'm like 300. Now I'm 364 days till 30. My daughter turns 30 in, like, a few months. Or Is actually, that... a few days. Uh, like, the 18th of July. Don't you weigh that much? What? What I saw, what number did I say? 64. <laughs> Dude. Big Give me ball. another eating competition. I guarantee <laughs> I can hit it. <laughs> hey, let's, let's make a game. Uh, get... How, how much? How much is a healthy weight for a guy your size? Six foot five. Like two fifty? I two forty something like that. No, I think it's like two thirty, two thirty five. Hey, you're not that far off then. I'm pretty far off. 
50, 50 some pounds, 60 I'm a whole, I'm a whole little, I'm how much a whole do you little, weigh about? About a hundred pounds more than that. Like, like I could be 350 right now. 350? Yeah. Okay. So I was, my joke was, my joke was real life. Okay. What was your joke, you piece of shit? My joke was that uh, you, you weigh as much as into, at 364. That's what I said. I, mean, I said, I said, give me another eating competition. I guarantee I can hit it. Yeah. <laughs> I and I was being well, uh, under. Let me put a little, gonna, gonna, get, put gonna, a couple pounds on real quick at lunch break. Dude, when I was six foot one, the the weight, the good weight for my body was a hundred and ninety eight pounds. I was like, dude, I'd never go to the NFL like that. A <laughs> hundred ninety eight pounds. I, I, you know. Robert says you were making fun of him and said you were as fat fuck. Well, he's allowed to call people fat fucks because he's a fat fuck. No. I didn't say that. You did because you've called me a fat fuck. Before. I called you a fat fuck a lot. But I don't think I called Robert that. Look at that. There's your shirt. No. I did say our backs hurt. Come on. I did say our backs hurt because we got some fat ass bellies that are pulling on our lower backs. <laughs> That's a, yeah, what I might have said that. Boys, I told him tested positive for strep throat today. Oh shit, man! Strep that... throat—that's almost as bad as mono. But at least if you got mono, you got something somewhere. What does strep throat mean? Uh, his throat is strep. It's like a bacterial infection type shit. He's in got like <laughs> phlegm. No, worse. No, like it's what? like raw. Yeah, it's like <laughs> more raw and white. Yeah. I got, I got. It's no fun. Uh, September, September, 10th. September 10. September 10th is the next drag queen bingo. If you want to tickets, just go to our Facebook, and then you can find the the link, or you can go to eventbrite.com, Ranger, and it'll come up. My uvula is swollen. My uvula. What's up? I, I thought, thought hey. Uh, Dude, we went over this yesterday. This thing? Yeah. Touch it. Uh, Go ahead, touch it. Uh, ah! <laughs> I'm just <kidding. laughs> Um You know mine's so short? I had half of it cut off. I for Switch real definitely. <laughs> I for real thought the Uvula was a female part when we were talking about it yesterday. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> that's close. Isn't it like a Uvula? <laughs> no, that's a Ova. Ova. <laughs> Volva. A Volvo? Volva. Uh, dude, there's Volvo. one. Volvo. There's one at Allen Chevrolet I was looking at. A Volvo? Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I know what that is. Right, Frank. Good morning, Detroit Frank. Those are reliable cars, dude. I'll fuck with those. Hey. Yeah. Tanya's, I think you mean Volvo. No, yeah. That's a. They make semis. I know. <laughs> they make uh, Volvo semis, dude. They're pretty cool. They're, they're pretty good. Junk in your trunk wasn't referring to her Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does that Volvo got enough trunk space for me? <laughs> so I know how it was spelled while you were playing the, uh, or I know how it's said. Yeah, let's get into the topic of the Wacky Wednesday. The little word for this, it's a religion, guys. It's a weird religion. That's realism. Ryle, like Ryalism, Ryalism. Okay. And then, but it, I pronounce the big word Raelianism as as that because I think that's how what it's supposed to say because I'm I'm smart, right? I never heard that word in my entire life. For a, a, a Raelianism. Raelianism. Yeah, never. R a e l i e n i s m. Raelianism, guaranteed. That's that's Ra'il, Ra'ilism. Ra'ilism. That's the little word I was trying to figure out. Because those two little dots right there, I don't know what that's supposed to say, and apparently it's uh. Ra, Ra'ilism. Ra'ilism. So, Anyways, tell me about it. Sorry, Dad. Okay. Uh, so Do this like man... Sleep and come hang out with me and the kids. Um, I'm a little bit busy today. He's busy, busy. Come, yeah, we got taste of and all sorts of stuff. You bring the kids. We're, not allowed to tell, we, we're doing real cool stuff, but we're not going to brag about it. And I told you yesterday in person, Robert. Yeah, Robert. Think hard. 
Think hard about what we're doing today. So this man, Claude Vahor, Vahor, he, Vahor, Vahorns, I don't know. Weird weird spelling. V-O-R-I-I-H-O-N-S. Vahorns. Like yeah, Vorion. Okay, That's good. Right. Thank you. Okay, he it was a French race car. Okay, two o'clock. Sorry, sorry. He was a the taste of uh, five o'clock for the other thing. Yep, and one kiss to grow an inch. So either, if you're going to come to the other thing, be there at like four thirty. And if you're going to go to the taste of, we'll tell you. Be there at one one fifty. So uh, okay, this Claude. It's about that stuff. This Claude man was a race car driver. He was a race car journalist. Uh, he was pretty famous in, in France. Um, he started realism and de- uh, derived it from the honor, the honorific, the honorific name given to him by aliens that abducted him and revealed the true origins of mankind. Claude, but his name, the, that rail and revealed. Whoa. Uh, Claude, the the aliens named him Rail. So Rail was taken to the planet called Elohim uh, by his alien captors, where he was honored enough to meet great philosophers and religious thinkers throughout history, including Jesus, Confucius, Buddha, and Joseph Smith. So this threw me off. I didn't know who Joseph was. Like, who's Joe Smith, dog? Like, I know a guy named Joe Smith right here. Uh, Did you race Volvo? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, dude. I lost track of my thoughts. <laughs> That's what a brain injury is, folks. Um, that Joseph Smith guy threw me off so fucking much. He's the founder of Mormonism. Okay. I don't know. So he, he, I guess he's a great philosopher and religious mind. Um, in addition to revealing that life on Earth began when humans were created from alien DNA 25,000 years ago, the aliens also informed Rael that Earth should expect their arrival in Jerusalem in the year 2025. Please, I want to see aliens. Or so, a- whatever they are. I want to see them. <laughs> so, uh... Or do I'm I, gonna... maybe, maybe, is there... Here, here's my thoughts on aliens real quick. They, I believe that... Humans have had help in the past, whatever you, whether you want to call it from angels and God and or you want to call it aliens. Uh, I, either way, I think it's the same thing. OK, that's my thing. Uh, but I think that they have come down before and helped. They've given us guidance. They've showed us why. Why are why are these pyramids on the exact parallel, same parallel all around the world, even under the ocean type thing like there's things about this world that can't be explained. Do you want... Vibrations. That's how I think they b- built the pyramid. Vibrations, and they picked up these rocks like this with vibrations, and they set them where they need to be. Um, do, you can do that with a drum. Did you know that? Sorry. <laughs> do you know something? I <laughs> never... Heard of Raelianism or Raelianism, uh, but I read it deep and long, long and hard, if you know what I'm talking about. And I believe this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I hate Weird Wednesday. Or like, to be honest, the more the more things I hear about flat Earth, the more sense flat Earth starts to make, which is weird. How about, I want to talk about penguins here. real quick. Penguins, right? They say that penguins are only in Antarctica, right? That's where they come from. But penguins can be found in the, in one region in Africa. Penguins can be found in Australia in a region. And penguins can be found uh, in South America in a region. None of those places are cold, right? So this and Antarctica is supposedly the coldest place on Earth. How do these 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 birds get from Antarctica to the just these three regions, which are southern hot regions? How does that happen? They swim. Okay, so the one South America is is five hundred miles. That is possible. Okay, but 
The other two locations is about twelve to fifteen hundred miles away from from Antarctica, and that is not possible. Um, what I saw is when you flatten the map. Those are the three closest points to to south uh, to, to Antarctica. Well, I think you're a liar. I don't know. I, I, I saved the video. I'm gonna send it to you so you'll watch it. I crazy. listen, listen. <laughs> You give me a couple facts and a couple shits that I can go on Google and, like, fact check you, you know, through a couple articles or something like that. If I, if you can get me, a, I read a couple articles about this and watched a video on realism. And this motherfucker, I'm, like, I'm going to Jerusalem in 2025 and I'm going to say what up to the aliens because they want, they want interdimensional peace. They want peace throughout the whole universe. That's what this is. is about. What these aliens are. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history, about what he ranted upon. The this religion claims humanity was the result of a genetic experiment by an advanced race of aliens called the Elohim. Uh, the Elohim. Elohim. E E L O H I M. Elohim. Okay. The the Elohim. The Elohim mated with human with a human woman to create the okay. prophets. What sorry, the Elohim. The Elohim mated with human women to uh, create the prophets on earth to reveal this truth. People like Jesus, Buddha, and Muhammad. Yes, they were all half half alien. So, Mother Mary got pregnant. Randomly, what if he? What if that was their experiment? Well, I have a, I have another. Okay, so I've been learning a lot about um, Norse mythology and, and stuff like that, and a lot of the Norse mythology apocalyptic time story, it leads damn near right into Genesis. Um, all it. it all leads like so basically. Like all these different gods that that we used to learn about. So what if they all did exist, and and the god we we worship now is the only one left? I wanna go ahead. You do it. I wanna bring up Night Train's comments because these are a hundred percent true. Ahead. All right. This is an extremely dangerous cult, adding to the uh, manipulating scripture. Uh, they say there is no God, only alien creators. This is all true, bro. They claim to have already cloned a human being. They don't. They don't want you to get blood transfusions. I believe they've, dude. If there's not human clones, then they I'm don't want you to have blood transfusions because they can't clone you correctly if you have a blood transfusion. I'm okay. This is so night trains. Telling me why I shouldn't believe it, but I, I'm there, bro. <laughs> that is some stuff. I They've found. already cloned a human being. They proclaim sensual meditation with the Elohim. These are the aliens, including a hedonistic, hedonistic exercise, hedonistic exercise and sexual stimulation, um, free love, a go topless day, and encouraging adult homosexual. They. Hey. I'm he down said, with this comment. Hey, get it. Get it, son. Yep. Uh, Stop this and be gay. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to be, but go ahead. Listen. <laughs> listen. They, these, this, this, this fucking weird cult oh, or whatever. Members, he said that's these crazy. aliens, he said these aliens believe in ultimate peace. Everybody should just be able to do what the fuck they want to do, no matter what the fuck it is. So I think I we of, just I kind of believe that as long as it's not murdering and hurting. And I'm I'm sitting here like I believe that and I didn't even know what this shit was. This is pretty cool. You know, I'm sitting here, that's what I believe in and then Robert says, What the fuck's wrong with this world anymore? Are you Christian, Robert? <laughs> what do you mean anymore, bro. This is these bo this shit's been going on long before yeah, you dude. thought of in your grandpa's grandpa. Are these really true facts? This ain't true or false Friday, these are Robert. All true this facts. is this yeah. is real. I am a believer. Okay, that's I'm, I'm here. Canada, he says, "Dude, they're, 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 it's not like they're just 
It's Here. worse. It's worse up there. It, it, they're still that crazy, but they're a little happier. Hey, worldwide thing. How's it going, eh? It's like Buddhism, but different. And squirrels is there, so that'd be fun in Canada. There's a lot of cool people Maybe in Canada. Deadly sins rule the world. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Um, Jesus was an alien, people. Well. <laughs> Mother Mary got pregnant by a Elohim. He was either an alien or he was he was like Hercules and he was half God. Half God, half alien, same thing. Um, same fucking thing. You know what I know I think Night Train where I know we don't usually talk about religion, but I'm curious about this specific detail. Okay, so uh was was Adam banished? Uh, was Adam forced to stay alive for a certain way longer because he ate the apple? No, the only thing the apple did was gave gave them the realization that they were doing wrong. Okay, it just gave us the ability to judge right who, and wrong. Period. Who was who was who was uh, sentenced with like so ton, hundreds of years of life? Snake. The snake that, that was? was that was Satan who supposedly convinced her to get Adam to eat the apple, and then he was banished to the earth for thousands of years because she ate the apple. Yeah. Um. Now, also, the, in in Norse mythology, the apple there was a certain apple that kept the gods alive for those for many many years. And guess guess uh, the. Uh, the, they also have a story that from their apocalypse comes two humans that survive, and their names are very similar to to Adam and Eve. I think what happened throughout the the history of the world is that is that there's like one story, and it just keeps getting you know things change. I'm starting to think that there was there was these gods, and then. Something did happen to where now there's only one. Huh? And then, then I was thinking, what if, what if someone like Zeus, you know, Zeus, Zeus kind of fits the character of, of God. He's God of gods, yeah. He's God. He's also of, like one of you know. He's the father of the gods. But he wasn't. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens. Jesus was half alien. Um, that's how Mother Mary got pregnant while still being a virgin. They inseminated her. That's what this this believes. What is it again? What's this? Realism. Realism. Raelianism. Raelian. Raelian. Raelianism. They named him Rail. Call me Rail. And I will guide you. Wait till 2025. When when our creators come in 2025 to Jerusalem, you guys will know. I can't wait to make my own race, dude. Well, I, I know exactly what I need to do. It kind of goes along the lines of the of the you know it the come the what is it? Uh, Jesus said he would come back, right? And everybody's waiting for him and. Jerusalem is about that spot where he's supposed to come back, right, Night Train? Yep. Jerusalem so, I mean, it all, it all runs 2025. together. 2025. All these religions kind of run together. They really do. Uh, like, like I said, and, uh, this lady that told me this was married to God. She was a nun. I was in the, uh, the EHIM up there at uh, the Elohim. No, I'm just kidding. E H I M, but uh, I was at that nursing home, and a nun told me because I told her I wasn't really religious. She said, uh, "Well, you need to start reading about these religions because there is a there is truth in every religion, but no religion is true. Is all the way true, but there's truths in every religion, and a lot of them. If you look up a lot of them, they have the same." Foundation. Base, yeah. Found they all have the same concrete. We were it's just a different. Someone. Yep, that's that's Matt. A hundred percent, that's Matt. Yeah, that's Matt. I don't that's know why all. he comes up as he is not blocked. He even texted me. He was like, "Dude, I swear to God, I don't have you blocked." I was like, "I know you don't, but it just comes up weird." 
Must be because he's so far away, maybe. I don't know. He's three time zones away. Oh, yeah, he's in the Philippines. Twelve time zones away, I think. So, yeah. Aliens desire to return to Earth at Jerusalem. Uh, at Jerusalem in the yet to be built Loam Embassy, where a one world government will be established with a single currency, language, etc. Hey, that sounds like New World Order. Uh. New, 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 I'm new gonna, world order. I'm going to start my own militia in, in the Minnesota Boundary Waters. We'll play like Red Dawn and probably live for about a month's time. <laughs> I'm living for longer than that, Tanya. I know how to survive. They're not going to. They, they want world peace. They yeah. want they want universal peace. That's what well, they're trying the for. Here's the thing: is suppose, well, how about the the story about there already there's a gla- a galactic uh, treaty already, and there's people protecting us from the evil. Well, send the fucking Avengers because I want to meet the real life Avengers, like the you know like this. I I am Alien Stanzabach, and I, I am here. I agree. We never needed currency. I think currency ain't going to be like we think, like paper money. I think it's going to be like favors. That's what I think. Like like uh, you scratch my back, I scratch yours type thing. Trade and barter. That's what yep. it would that's, be. Like, yep. Hey, I need this. Okay, come work for me for this long. And then, yep. and then, then you're paid off. That's how mm-hmm. it used to work. Yes, sir. And that's what I think. That I don't know. I, I, I will be. Lots of land can be in my military, Poppy. So 2025, you guys will see me from Jerusalem. Uh, the first. I hope you're in the ass. January 1st uh, through uh, January 1st of 2026, I will be in Jerusalem. Uh, I will do the show every day, but I will be uh, at Back the place. Antique and crafts. In 2019, a single <laughs> mother rented a booth at a large craft and antique mall, focusing on selling retro and handmade decor items. After having her youngest, she moved back to her hometown of Monroe, Michigan, wanting to help build up her community by opening a retail store and still being able to provide business coaching to other small businesses. Now, three years and two stores later, we are expanding and growing with our Flashback family with more vendors and more events. Go check them out at flashbackantiqueandcrafts.com for more information. Muggsy's Sports Grill and Bar. Muggsy's is the best sports bar and restaurant in Monroe, Michigan. Muggsy serves up piping hot pizza, wings, ribs, burgers, and more. Muggsy's is the place in Monroe to go to for the big game or race on Sundays. Be sure to bring the whole family. Go check out MuggsySportsBar.com for more information. Monroe Sports Center. We are a family-operated business that is here for customers' every demand. We have a fully stocked snack bar and also connected to one of the hottest bars in Monroe. Go check out BowlMSC.com for more information. Ruthless Pro Wrestling, RPW, is the rising independent professional wrestling promotion out of the Midwest. Featuring hard-hitting and high-flying action and a reputation in the high-stakes world of deathmatch wrestling from today's hottest talent. Go check out RuthlessPro.com for some... Earth Dweller of the Day. Earth Dweller of the Day. This is the Earth Dweller of the Day. See what's walking on this world. Okay, okay. Okay. What is the Earth Dweller of the Day? Good morning, Blind Neil. Hello. Hello. Hey, today's is a high rack. Hyrax, do you know why this is the Hyrax? Look at him. This this little creature right here is in the Bible. <laughs> Josh, you're not on the screen. Um, this is the Hyrax. Um, it's a, a rabbit size, and it looks kind of like a large guinea pig, but the closest living relative to this animal is a elephant. You heard that right, what? It's an elephant as its closest living relative, and right behind the elephant is a manatee. So that's what he's related to. Um, it's got uh, here's some characteristics about it. It's cute and fuzzy. It's got three toes for climbing rocks, and getting the fuck up. They're rounded toes. They don't have claws on them. They can climb like a motherfucker. 
Uh, they got a bulge on its iris that acts as a sun visor. Their their eyes kind of stick out a little bit. Um, they have no tail, and they have a pair of tusk-like incisors in their mouth. You see that little cute little you fucker with his little visor over your eyeballs? Yeah. You don't have to what take sunglasses to let you no more. What? What makes them related? Tusks. Okay. And then and DNA. DNA is close. The, the the closest living relative is elephant in a manatee. So their DNA is co- I don't fucking know, dude. Maybe they swim really good and have trunks. I don't fucking know, dude. No, I'm just I I really that's that's yeah. It's a herb. Know. Really, he doesn't know. I don't know, 100. percent It's herbivore. Uh, grasses make up more than half of its diet. It also eats leaves. It eats wood too. It gnaws on wood probably to shape up those in sizes right there um they eat twice a day uh it's a few hours after sunrise and right before sunset so they just get their fucking food in when the sun rises and right before it sets um breeding takes place in the spring and is synchronized and sync yeah synchronized with the rainy season males have a harem of females uh a hair a harem Harem. A harem. Yeah. yeah, so the males are pimps, and he's got a bunch of hoes that he mates with, uh, about three to seven females that he breeds with, and uh, the female has one to four offsprings after a six to eight mu- six to eight month gestation period. That's long for a small rodent, you would think, but it's not a, you know. Kind of like a Mormon, then, huh? Multiple it's not, lives? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um... Birthing happens at night. Yeah, sometimes I wouldn't find that, and then I remember why I'm single. <laughs> um, birthing happens at night. The infants are highly developed. Uh, within hours, they can run and jump. Uh, the second day that they are alive, they're eating uh, grasses and food. But really? the first the first day, they eat the adults' poop to uh, get their bacteria in their stomach that they need. Yeah, so what, did, what did the adults eat? Uh, a whole bunch of uh, fifty, more than fifty percent of their uh, their diet is grasses and uh, some leaves, flowers, but you know a- anything. So probably to get a good gut by them, so they can eat that shit. You okay, know. Okay, so basically, like for example, an elephant. You can literally pick an elephant turd up and throw it at somebody because all it is is grass. Like it's got some brown in there, but kids over in Africa and shit, they you they have fucking elephant turd wars instead of snowball fights. Hey man, you gotta have fun somehow. I heard right? of that hillbilly shit, man. Out in the pasture and whatnot, throwing cow cow pups yep. at each other and shit. We used to throw rocks when we went to the swamp. We'd grab the mud and throw it at each other. We'd cow pups are big though. <laughs> Dude, throwing mud at somebody is fucking lethal. There's rocks in that bitch sometimes. Oh, yeah, we know. We've gotten black eyes, and I don't know how we didn't lose teeth. Well, well, so. Cut faces, dude. Eyeballs leaving. Come on now. Um, the weaning weaning occurs at 10 weeks, uh, but they are already eating food and everything by then. They're they're already well established. They're super super highly developed. That I, I think it's that's really nice. Um. They lived, they've been existing for millions and millions of years. Uh, they were even in the Bible, and the species was referred at, to as the, the conies. Um, these, these guys were in the Bible, bro. It, this is Jesus' pet, one of them. And Jesus was an alien, folks. Is that? They scream. You hear that? Yeah. Are they laughing? Sound <laughs> 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 kind of like freaking Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> Sorry, I was just doing my mating call. Does anybody uh? Oh, it's so cute and ugly. (laughs) 
motherfucker will bite the shit out of you, bro. Look at him fighting, dude. <laughs> Staring right at the camera. <laughs> he snorted. He's snorting, bro. That's cool. I like that. Um, here's how big they get. They get uh, 12 to 21 inches long. Uh, the male can, is about 8 pounds. The female is about 9 pounds. Their population is at the very least of concerns. Um, they live 12 years in the wild and up to 20 in captivity. Morning, MJ. Hello. My giant giveaway. called a uh, high rat. Hyrax, it was in the Bible. Uh, Jesus was an alien, if you haven't known. Just just saying. You're just going to repeat that every couple minutes? Um, I have a whole basis of my whole religion. All the prophets were sent here to school us so that we're prepared for the alien race that's going to return. Yep. Tianism. I didn't read all that part to you, did I, T-Row? Oh, shit. There's all kinds of stuff on that stuff, too. I yeah, know, but mine's... So, so much deeper than t Rep went. <laughs> Like My, the Garden of Medium is actually a space laboratory. I mean, t up you really dropped the ball on this one. I didn't. I didn't want to get that deep because you guys. That's what, what I, the point <laughs> is. That's what the point is, sir. It was just weird. It got too weird for you. <laughs> <laughs> he started believing shit. Because I wanted to tell you guys I believed it, yeah, but then a cool one. But I'm gonna tell you what it got a little too weird for me, and I didn't finish the research. Yeah, so Weird Wednesdays got me weird, okay? I feel you. You're I lucky you. I fucking Terrible Tuesday and think and talk about murder and shit, okay? You're lucky. <laughs> yeah, um, so, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I have a complete basis. I just wanted to tell you guys, Weird Wednesday has brought a complete basis to my new religion, Tianism. And I'm building gonna... It up. Just building it up. Yep. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be way better than this. And I'm not gonna say there's no laboratories or nobody's getting cloned. It's just gonna be the good shit. Like imagine a religion with all good shit. It you know what I'm saying? Like Happy Barrel almost. I hope your good news, JC, is that your car is fixed and you're back on the road again. It's like car repair after car repair for her. Blind Neil, cheers. Yeah, glad you got some good news. Good news, Noah's Ark, a spaceship that was lifted up above the earth which preserved the genetic material that was used to resurrect animals through cloning. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. It doesn't sound like I'm telling you, it's so real, bro. It's so fucking real. Dude, I hate this. <laughs> there, these guys are again. I got to fucking... Every right. time I go to block them, I can't see their their comment. Oh, I know that's that was fucking throwing me off yesterday. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I can't. There it is. I try to click on each one and report each one too. They're pretty bad the last couple of days through YouTube. Yeah, it gets that way from time to time. JCT got them, fucking bots. Yep. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Lena. How are you? How are you, sweetheart? Um, I got a religion proposal for you, Elena. If you want to, uh, if you want to be religious, um, I think actually I should keep my book open because I'm gonna start writing. Are you, is this the Earth Dweller yeah, of the Day or what? Um, yeah, it's Earth Dweller of the Day or what? I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff that was talking about and that stuff. <laughs> Yeah. I just went blurry, blurry. blurry Sodom blurry. and Gomorrah, two angels sent to Sodom and Gomorrah were, were spies from the alien Elo Elohim. The towns were destroyed by an atomic explosion. What up, Naughty Nikki? Kind of. Now, if you were to look back at an atom at, at certain bombs, it would fuck you up forever. You know? Dude. I'll tell you what. But also, the gods, were no, the gods are no, you know, known to have the power of that, you know, nuclear bombs and shit inside of them back in the day. 
Jeez. Almost like totally late this morning, man. I got sidetracked. I was over here editing video and shit. Oh yeah, look at this. I was like, it was ten oh six. Holy shit. Ooh, taste of. Look at this. Yeah, that's so much cooler than Josh's shirt tea. Teenism. 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 He's rewriting the whole book now. But look at the E. It has that weird E that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> right now, right now, you look like a creepy dude that's into teens. It's got that accent mark over the E. I didn't even notice that. I I got it. I'll I'll re re I'll re invert it. <laughs> yeah. Teenism. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? You know what? Ear to ear with your balls, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Teism. exactly. That's laughs> balls That's across the face. <laughs> Damn it. See what happens when T Rup freestyles. Right. He was doing well for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> He's G Squirrel says sicko. LOL. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, now you look like a guy that's in the teens. I'm like, oh, my God. And I looked down at it, and I was like, the dots didn't do enough, did they? No. <laughs> the little dots above the E. Fuck. <sighs> what do I do, bro? Do I dash it? T-inism? No, you spell out T-inism. T-E-E-I-N. T-N? I-S-M. I-S-M. Write that one down and let's see how that looks. You're gonna okay. have to respell it again though. <laughs> T E. Lena says no thanks. She doesn't want to be a part of that. T inism. T I N. Oh, nice. J C. Happy birthday to your son on the Fourth of July. Teenism. That looks way better, but it that still looks, looks weird. Better. It still looks like teen a little bit. Teenism? What? What are you going in teen? What? Teenism. Oh. Just, ooh. That's what it looks like now. Yeah, I, I, something weird happened yesterday. Seems how it's weird Wednesday. I, out. I was talking on chat to some people about tugboats in Detroit. And when I was growing up in school, I had this buddy that used to have a tugboat down here. The tugboat, right? I was like, I wonder if he's still a captain. So I went looking it up. Found out in 2021, he's got 29 years plus eight years parole for child pornography. <laughs> he was he was tugboating and having fun down there in Detroit, luring kids in with pills and the tugboat and weirdo. <laughs> I was like, man, <laughs> Lord, ism was well, a wasm. <laughs> yeah. Tianism, no dash. Neil Neil says everything and everyone is a figment of my imagination. I think, <laughs> lol. Uh, this is what Squirrel says. This one looks the best in my eyes so far. Tianism. Tianism. Take the second T out. E. Tianism. Yeah, sorry. The text two E's. Only use one. I think that would look way better. Even the spacing would with two E's would look better. But yeah, I think that looks better. T in them. Yep, that looks way better. Okay, there you go. Now you does looks like your your actual religion and not going after teenagers. Now it looks like um. That's over the E, and it still look right even. And, so and my right. cult, my cult is not going to get arrested. Dots over the E, night chain's right. You could use the two dots over the E. It'll be like Tanism. Tanism. Oh. Boom. Perfect. Wait. Not those eyes. I am, Daddy. <laughs> Tanism. That Perfect. looks like a religion. Religion number uno. Okay? This is what you guys are going to be. We follow you. Yep. Thank you, squirrels. I'm going to write a fucking whole... <laughs> she might be one of your disciples, huh? Oh, she's <laughs> she made up the word. She <laughs> made up the religion, dude. Yep. Uh, J T Tanya says, just trying to pronunciate. Uh, T with jism? Yes or no? 
<laughs> God dang, that's so cool. These fuckers again. That's so cool. Tea with Jism. I don't. That was cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with squirrels because I don't want to be a Jism god. Teaism. I'm gonna write the words. I'm gonna write the history on on my religion. Teaism. Y'all are slow. Damn, JCT. I'm sorry, moderators, moderate. Moderators, I assemble. I hid this from, it's the same one over and over again, I think. But I hid it this time. We'll see if that did anything. Um, Ryo alleged that there are. Yeah. Oh, get the bot. I thought it said get the bat. <laughs> Ryo alleged that there are 90,000 of these Elohim on their planet and that they are all quasi-immortal. Well, I want to be immortal too, so come uh, probe me, Daddy. <laughs> commented on their world, we do not wear clothes. He added that they all are permitted to engage in free love with one another and that sexual jealousy between them has been eliminated. All are regarded as fairly feminine in their manner. Ryle states that the most feminine woman on earth is only 10% as feminine as the Elohim. What? You women aren't very feminine. <laughs> Dude, am I? have I been an Elohim my whole life? Am I <laughs> half alien? You, you might be. Feminine. Dude, I literally put 15 face tattoos on my face, and I, people still think I'm gay. Because you are. I tried hard. That's pretty gay, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jealousy always existed. Yep. Oh, man. Most of my tattoos are all hidden. I mean, you don't see my shoulder tattoos at all until the sleeves come up, you know? I'm a thug till I die. I, I walked up. Top, you can see pretty much all of my tattoos, but that's. I it. walked up to one of my coworkers yesterday and just whispered in his ear. I said, "I'm way more thug than you," and I walked <laughs> away. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just said, "I'm way more thug life than you, dude." I promise. <laughs> and and I don't even know why I did it, but it was a funny joke. And why didn't you make a video out of it? <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure. Bye, guys. It's uh, hour two. Uh, have a great day. Uh, it is that time. I got to write about Tianism, you motherfuckers. All right. <coughs> you guys, we'll see you tomorrow for Thursdays. Ta What's happening Thursday, baby? Oh, Papa. And, oh, hope you all have a great day. Thank you, squirrels, for making my religion truth. <laughs> Accomplish one goal today, even if it's a small goal. Even if it's creating a religion, fuck you! Fuck you! Left contact. They're just flying the plane around. Do you seem comfortable with that? Oh hell yeah! It's a blast! Oh, yeah.